on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Um, all might. Uh, yes, young Midoriya. Can we talk in private? This is something that concerns both of us, even more than concerns the both of us. So, can we talk? Mm, very well. As they're in the teacher's lounge, and uh, all might can see he's like, he's kind of jerry, and uh, well, young Midoriya, what's wrong? We need to tell people about all for one. What? Yes, we have to let the people know about the danger he poses. What about this? I was in America. You hear me? America. And they know about him already. At least the villains do. So that means his influence is far more than in Japan. It's worldwide, most likely, by now. So we should need to tell people about him so they can be prepared. Uh, but Yogi Matoya, do you know that could mean exposing him could expose... I know. That's why... I think we should tell people about the quirk. Huh? You heard me. We should tell people about one for all, and all for one. It may be the only way for people to really grasp the concept of how dangerous all for one is. Uh, you're serious? Oh yeah. But, but young Midori, do you understand what that means? Yes, it means people will know about my quirk, know that I got it from you, and that you are slowly losing your power, but I am going to end up being stronger than you in the future. I get that. Exactly. So why would you want to? Because if they know how strong I am, and that we're telling them this now, that all for one is that much more a threat. Hell, tie him to the Nomus too, considering that he is using corpses. They'd be known that, yes, he's taking and giving quirks to these things that could have been someone's family member. That he is defiling corpses who God, God knows where he's getting them all. As he just goes on this whole rant, like, we need to let people know. Like, where's Harley? He's like, she's in the dorm room. Don't worry about it. She's ready for me once I'm done. But still. Uh, you, you do realize, once people know, you could be a tur- Oh, please believe me, thanks to Harley's insanity training, I am ready for whatever. Uh, 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 
You're serious about this? Oh, oh yes I am. Very serious. Um... Very well, when do you... We can do it tomorrow. We just say... Oh yeah, we're also going to have to expose your skinny form. What?! Oh yes. That will definitely sell how dangerous all for one is. That you almost died fighting him. That he, he turned you into a skeleton of your former self. That will definitely help sell the point. Hell, people will be all out, all out looking for this bastard. They will be hunting him down, trying to find out, okay, so he looks like this now. Let's see who associates with him. Let's see any villains know about him. Let us get to the torture methods. Even, who knows, your old psychic, Sir Night Eye. You know about, oh yes. Remember, don't forget. I'm a fanboy. Yes. A fanboy. Uh, uh, you serious about this? Oh, yes. The people must know. It's time for us to come out of the shells about, about this quirk and let it be known. Otherwise, who knows how many people could suffer because of all for one and you know ignorance may be bliss for some but it could be detrimental to others do you agree with me I can't believe this what <laughs> for so long I've kept this secret. Never even consider the fact that I could be actually helping if people actually knew about it. They would know who to look out for, or at least to be more on guard. Hmm. Yes. For the very least, they do know that. Well. You are the number one hero here. If you lost so much from fighting him, just imagine what they could have lost. They have something to rally behind, to take arms against. A common enemy. I can't believe I never thought of this before. I mean, yeah. If people know the danger, chances are they're going to be more prepared for it. Heck, think of locks on doors and all, and windows. There used to be a time way in the past when people wouldn't do that. Think of all the weapons that have been manufactured just for self-defense against the elements. Knowing the threat means you can prepare for it. It's better to be prepared and not need it than to need it and not have it. <laughs> I can't imagine what would have happened if we let be known about this quake before. Or my predecessor, who knows? We might not have met, or I might not have ever been all my. So, tomorrow. Wait, but tomorrow's a sports festival. Are you sure? Like, no, no. You're right. You're right. Let me think. Ah. Let's do it tonight. Later on tonight. That way, we have to, don't have to worry about anything getting in the way. I can't believe you're willing to do this. I mean, 
imagine that people know that yeah I understand but let's do it as yes a large press conference is pretty much held the world was reporters are watching Night Eye, David, so on and so forth. They're pretty much like, okay, let's see what this is about. And this is when Izuku and All Might just dropped the bomb. With the All Might debuffing in front of everyone. In front of the cameras and everything. Showing that yes, he is not who he used to be. This shocks everyone. Him even lifting his shirt showing the scar, the wound he sustained. Everyone is shocked to think who could have done that. Even <laughs> Grand Torino is like, I can't believe you're actually doing this, Toshinori. And then they start explaining the history of One for All and Awful One's battle. How it began with two brothers. And when they get to the point where he chose his successor, they are welcomed by the smiling green face of Izuka Midoriya. As they're wondering, this kid has All Might's power? And according to him, he's going to be stronger than All Might? Everyone, you way! Shigetsu! Every hero school, they are losing their minds over this. Because they now know that Izuku is going to be not only the number one hero, it's pretty much guaranteed in Japan, but he is going to be stronger. And that is terrifying. Because now, not only do they know about this quirk, not only do they know about the danger that Awful One poses, It's pretty much like this kid. We have to protect him and make sure he's ready for whatever comes next. <laughs> Hurley is like, I'm proud of you. But seriously, wait. Her just like, wait, how, how did you get this quirk again? How did he pass on? <coughs> what? Yeah, I mean, how did you... How did he pass on the quirk to you? Well, I had to ingest some of his DNA. Please! Wait, wait, no, no, no. Not like that, not like that. I swear, not like that. I just plucked out a hair and told him to eat it. Uh, should we be arresting him? Uh, no, no. It's, see, that was the only way. That he passed on the court to me. Really? So no blood transfusion. We have different blood types. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I can see that being the only non non perverse way for you getting that quirk. Yeah. All right. Fine. Well, we might need to come back to that later, but still. Wait, does this mean if you ever kiss anyone or you... Uh, anyone you could pass it on by accident? Uh, 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 no! Think about it! Uh, oh my god. You didn't think about this, did you? I, uh, you really didn't consider the fact that if you tried to have kids, you could accidentally pass it on to them, or your spouse, or, hey, what if you just decided to go have a one night stand with somebody, then Harley's like, oh my god, do I have one for all now, or do I, do I, 
Because our kid... Oh my... Excuse me? Is it... Oh, was I not supposed to tell anyone? Is the camera just on Harley now? Like... What? And this is when you hear the screeching of car tires as Inko shows up and grabs Izuku by the ear and says, we are going to have a talk. Then she reaches and grabs poor, poor Harley and just throws him in the car as they drive off. Oh my... I suppose we're going to find out. And that is how that press conference ends. When it comes to the whole, you know, eh, sports festival, Izuku is banned from it. At least, he can't participate in it. They've deemed it as not fair at all. So yes, he's unable to participate. They're borderline about to give him his own hero license right now. The only thing is, he's still you know, underage. He can't really do that. So if anything, he goes on patrol with other heroes. To the point where he actually, by Ingenium's, uh, you could say, uh, gesture of goodwill and whatnot, just trying to help out his brother's friend. It's like, I'll help I'll help you out until the heat dies down about your whole quirk being outed. Yeah. So you do meet Stain. Only thing is Stain he knows like about Izuku's quirk now. So right now he's like, oh my god. So I'm gonna give you a choice. Can fight me and probably win, but there's still a chance you could lose, definitely. Even with all my power. Or you can leave and let me deal with Ingenia. Izuku being how he is, I like, know I can't let you do that. Though yes, your society is flawed compared to how it used to be. The way you do it is not the right way. So you, you're going to stand against me on this. Yes. With the GM and Izuku, yeah, they easily can take Gon Stain to the point where he's badly beaten and can't really do anything. Only thing is Stain, though, yes, he still has his mindset. He is hopeful. Considering that, yes, he could have just left in JM and been on his own, own matter way. And Stain probably would have killed in JM just to keep this whole thing down low or whatnot. Or he'll go after Izuku straight afterwards. His power be damned. But he's more mellow. Because the villains, they now know they. All Might is weaker, that he has a time limit, so they are getting more bold. The only thing is, they know how Endeavor is, and he is a brutal bastard. Of the brutality this this. So though yes, some try to get more cocky, others know how stupid that would be, knowing that just because All Might, the nice number one hero. Won't pretty much burn us to a crisp. Does not mean Endeavor won't. Endeavor learning. Actually about All Might's ailment. The fact that he's been fighting this. Wound. For so long. He was so close to death. To the point where yeah. He almost got to one spot like that. That was like a fact that. How could you keep fighting after all you've been through? <laughs> He's starting to rethink his whole mindset. Yeah, he may 
put away more criminals. He may do this and that. But the people still choose All Might to be number one, don't they? So he does have his fans. <sighs> he ain't no symbol of peace. For anything, he's more like an enforcer. Enforcer. I'm sorry. Oh, man. When it comes to staying supporters, he still has some. It's just not to the point where it's like, okay. So, yes, he's, his ways have a point, his mindset. But on the other hand, that will technically make them more desperate for heroes to the point where they just throw hero licenses like beads at Mardi Gras. So they're really thinking, okay, so how can we really impact the Hero Society without pretty much offering any possibly good heroes? Lead by example. Dobby, he hates Endeavor to the, to the point where, yes, I would kill him given the chance. But, wait. That's all. There's a better way, isn't it? I take his spot from him. I become a greater hero than him. But in Toga, having someone as crazy as Harley be somewhat of a role model-esque type, she does start to... Th Lean more towards. Huh. You know what? Daisuku. Boy. Looks awfully familiar to me. And it looks like he has no problem with crazy. Spinner. Yes. Though he has been pretty much persecuted for his whole face situation. Hmm. Life can't be that bad. I just haven't met the right people. So the villains doesn't get as many people. At least they don't get the staying supporters. And the staying, this would be known like I had nothing to do with the League of Villains. I don't even like the person who technically leads them. He's just a man baby child who I see no real future in. Meanwhile, when it comes to all for one, though yes, Shigaraki has been technically healed by from the Joker Venom, he's still not completely right. As soon as it's known that, oh my God, now they know about me. I'm not no stay kept secret anymore he is pissed though yes he wanted his secret to be out he did not want it to be out until they had no damn choice and since now they know that yes he has supporters all throughout the globe they are cracking down even more because of villainy Sasha Stripes she is doing some overtime Superman, Batman, all of them. Though, yes, their villains are, in their own right, very dangerous. Someone who's silently gathering more support beneath the scenes, in the shadows, they know how dangerous that is. Because sooner or later, you could be in a crowd full of citizens and... It's a whole army of villains ready to jump your ass. Or a bunch of citizens who agree with all for one or other villains you know that as soon as you leave, then there are accident reports, this hero did this, they hurt me, this crush such and such, all of that. So yes, they know about their villains. They just need to make sure it's like, we need to stomp out all for one. 
If he can take quirks away, yeah, that is not something we want getting out. Because, we'll say 200 years of being able to silently steal quirks and give them to these normal things? Yeah, that is some very much cause for concern. To the point where the hero schools, they can join all throughout the globe, constantly giving lessons plans, trying to get better student training in. Izuku, though he is still part of U UA, he's in an accelerated course. To the point where they bring in top heroes to train him. They, want, they would love for All Might to train him, but they seem how he is not the best teacher. I'm talking Miracle, best genius, Endeavor, all of them. You know, Dragon Hero especially. They're testing out his power, and this is when he starts to actually gather more and more of the quirks, learn that they are like to his emotions on how he can actually use them. And yeah, as you, you can expect, he is flying through this, especially because of Black Whip being such a useful quirk. Though, yes, Bago would see it as something that's useless. With Izuku's mind, it is dangerous. Very dangerous. To the point where it's not just a capture tool. Even Aizawa's pretty much like, you're pretty much copying my scarf, aren't you? Nope, I'm doing better. Force training? Every hero school takes part in it. To the point where there's no way. There's no way you guys are going to catch us off guard. Hey, all one might have an army, but so do we. Of very willing students to be heroes. To the point where they actually. Considering the fact that, yes, they do need potential heroes. They, it's not the fact that they're more strict in the professional licensing exam. They actually give them temporary licenses to the people that don't pass until they can try to, to take uh, extra classes. So then, they at least have a chance to get the full licenses because temporary, they need someone. It's kind of like a uh, between having a driver's license and a learner's permit. They need someone who's an honest to God hero with them instead of just them going off on their own. And thanks to Izuku Shrey, he has Flow, he has Black Whip, and he can utilize them both to the amazingth degree. He can, he can pretty much weave Black Whip into his hero costume just to give him some extra power, or at least, for lack of a better word, much more uh, shock absorption. Hey, Froggy style? Yeah, easy. Spider-Man? Oh wait, wrong, you can first. But you get what I'm saying. Due to Miracle's behavior, yeah, though she is very like, come on, let's just get this over with, let me be the shit out of something. Zero's mind turns her away from trying to take on something that she knows she could die from. Though, she, yeah, she's a good hero. She's more smart, thanks to Izuku's input. Now, when it comes to All For One's plans, they have been ramped up. Overhaul! Even! He's, he's come out of the closet and pretty much like, this old girl's blood. I can make quirk erasing bullets out of this shit. He heads right to the Heroes Association with this 
Discovery. In which they're like, you do know how fucked up that is. Yes, but it's necessary. But you know how fucked up this is. Wait, what? Wait, you, you were doing this before all this came out, right? Why? Uh, um. Well, let me explain. I'm getting his best excuse, like, why we treat a little kid like this. Which, yes, as you would expect, he, he does not get the best reception. <laughs> Though, yes, they do take him up on his offer with the bullets. It's Eric they're really worried about, because... You gotta think, this is a little girl's life you're playing with. I mean, if you just draw her blood, with, with her giving your cons her consent and everything, that's different. You were experimenting on her and all this nonsense just so the Yakuza can have power again. I get your goal, but mm, don't like your methods. So yeah, Eri. Eri is safe. She does not need saving, because overall understands like, oh my god, I know how dangerous this could be. I understand, considering, yeah, the me and Awful One's goals are not the same. The survival of the fittest, yeah, I get that, but quirk related, just so every one would go to his side rather than mine. So, uh, let's fix that. Let's get rid of him first. Also, yes, here's my quirk. This is what I can do. You might want to protect me as well. In fact, Eric does go to UA. She does actually meet Izuku. Her hearing about him, that he's practically guaranteed to be the number one hero, she sees him as a beacon of hope. And the fact that he was brave enough to let everyone know about his quirk actually shows her like, wow, you are a lot braver than other people would be. I want for you letting people know about this. Who knows how long it would have been before it actually came out to light, if it ever would. And Izuku seeing Eri with a horn wondering, wait, what is your quirk? Like, rewind. But as you can imagine, Eri still hates her quirk. Because yes, she killed her father. Her mother hates her. Her grandfather, all because of her quirk and overall seeing the potential in it, is hospitalized. So, yeah, you can imagine, she does not care for her quirk, still, she hates it. But Zuku doing that Tano Jutsu anime protagonist bullshittery, <sighs> as you can imagine, it works. Lovely, it works wonderfully. One thing is, he's pretty much like... That question, how well does your court actually work? Him wanting to know the full scope of it, seeing how, hmm, is it only living things you can affect? Or does, does it have to have a heartbeat? Could it be the, her not knowing? Is it trying his best as like, okay, would you like to train with your quirk to try to be a hero? Or at least a doctor, maybe? Because, if anything, you sound like the world's most wonderful doctor. Could you imagine her rewinding in someone's lungs? A heavy smoker's lungs. To the point where it's like they never even touched a cigarette in the day in their lives. Imagine they're helping back up to 100%. Rotten teeth, teeth falling out, nope, rewind them. 
Hell, good as new. So, you can imagine Izuku seeing the high potential quality that is Aries' quirk. But then she starts to get Izuku wondering. So, hmm. You rewounded your father to before he existed, right? Yes. Hmm. I wonder. As this is when he has an idea. He always thought, okay, I have black whip and I have float I got some more quirks I could work with once I unlock them but him look at Aerie hmm 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 what if I gave her my quirk then she gives it back to me what would happen then as yes this is me, Bob. Oh? Excuse me? He actually goes to the Heroes Association and with everyone else actually asking about this. Like, do you think this could work? They don't want to risk it considering Aerie has been through a lot and is he giving her a quirk multiplier along with it? Oh, kind of a, kind of a can of worms they don't want to open. That is until Ari actually speaks up and says she wants to do whatever she can to help. Overhaul's like, yay! Does that mean... Hey, 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 hold on. So, Ari, what are you trying to say here? As she looks at Overhaul, she looks at Izuku's. I'm going to try both. Excuse me? As she elaborates... She will willingly donate blood to Overhaul to try to mass produce these quirk erasing bullets, which will be given to the proper authorities to pretty much get rid of any quirk villain that has been appropriately identified as to helping all for one. Or that way. Yes, he's going to slowly run out of allies with quirks, as well as he's not going to be able to take their quirks as well. They keep this on the down low, down low. So, yeah, it's a lot. And when she talks about Izuku giving her quirk and her giving it back, like, it would be nice to have someone with my quirk to actually train me. As Izuku reminds her, like, it's going to be a learning experience for both of us. As, yes, Izuku is giving off the Big Brother vibes, as we would expect him to. In which, he plucks out hair, eat this, hours go by, and she's feeling the power. But before she uses it, as I was like, nope. And so, yeah, that ain't gonna be doing nothing. Then she plucks out hair, now you eat this. Izuku has it back. So now, Izuku isn't the ninth user. He is the 11th user, which makes him even more powerful than he would have been before. And now, he has Ares' quirk in storage, which as soon as he unlocks it, if he can find out what causes Eri to activate it, which is pretty easy, especially since he has the quirk user there to explain it. Yeah, he grows a horn. And Eri just runs it and hugs Izuku, calling him Big Brother. Izuku just shedding a tear of, of brotherly pride. Okay, so let's go somewhere secluded with Mr. Aizawa 
and try to learn how to control this. Months go by, people have been rounded up, they've had their quirks taken away because of the quirk of racing bullets. The only thing is, not all of it, them are quirks, but they still know about one for all. They're all for one. If the quirk of racing bullet doesn't work, they need to find another way to contain them, or at least find a way to take away that power that could cause them to be helpful. Because even Hopeful wants to know what to really do with some, if one of his followers betrays him and they all have a court to steal away, leaving them carnitals besides killing them. Besides, you know, using a corpse to make a new normal. And speaking of those, it is a bit more difficult to make anymore because learning that they are corpses as well as possibly people who just got kidnapped or given multiple quirks and experimented on. They are guarding every cemetery, every homeless person. They are building a homeless shelter for homeless shelters if they can. Making it so, yes, anyone who is unaccounted for or is anyone who is easy target they got, they got somewhere to be safe. So, yeah, dear old doctor, he's running out of test subjects, and that's that's terrifying. Cause the awful one is running out of time. He's running out of allies. He's running out of no moves, and the quirks. He's not ready. Yeah, he can still give some more, but if those followers get captured and those courts are taken away, he loses them forever. So the All Might Killing Weapon is still a work in progress. He just needs to look out for more people with quirks. Even if they he finds someone with powers, that is not a guarantee they have quirks at all. So he is grasping at straws right now. He doesn't know really what to do, except for, oh man, if I'm going to do anything, I got to make sure that I can, I need that damn quirk. And when it comes to Izuku, now, ever since getting Ares quirk, he's been all over the globe with Ari and Aizawa. What they do, they they go to old retired heroes to gain as many more allies as they can. Ex -er heroes that retired or got too injured to keep on the good fight, they are rewinding them to their peak forms. Then Izuku gets a visit from Hawks. As in, he learns about Lady Nagant. And this is when he breaks down the doors of the Hero Association. And gets them to admit what they did. Well, pretty much he left Nagant high and dry and all that shit. Pretty much showing that, yeah... Though, yes, they are technically the good guys. They have done some terrible crimes. Which doesn't get Nagan immediately released. She still has some time to serve. But at least then, the Hero Association does have to serve time as well. Especially with all the evidence that they should have kept buried. Let's just say Melissa plus May Hatsume's genius and David Shield. <laughs> oh yeah. It's crazy, but fun. They found a lot more than they should have. Yes, and by this time, Izuku was actually 17, borderline 18. Over one is almost completely defeated with the other lack of resources because you must think 
for him to stay quiet, for him to be able to fund the research, not only with corpses and the technology that they use to reanimate a corpse, that takes a lot of money, time, and resources, which he is dwindling out of. The more allies get captured, the more likely he is to be getting caught. He's running out of money. He's running out of corpses, resources, and everything he needs. No, oh, he's borderline about to have to use generators just to keep that respirator nice and charged and functioning and whatnot. Shigaraki! Learning more about. Wait. Nanashimura. Yeah, that's my grandma, but. He's so. Wait. If it wasn't for my master killing her, she would have. She would have been home? More? Was it for that fucking quirk? Or my master making it? This wouldn't be happening to me! All my probably wouldn't even be in a factor! Hero Society! He starts questioning all for one. And with that insanity and anger mixed in with the Joker Venom he was exposed to, it is not a good look though, is it? He's starting to question things. He's starting to wonder how much has this asshole tampered with everyone's life. He's starting to question all for one. And he knows where all for one sleeps. He knows that he is possibly one at the most vulnerable right damn now. Doctor, it's pretty much. Uh, I don't know what to really do anymore. Yeah, we're keeping you alive, barely, but if anything, I can say just hope you get a new body soon. Excuse me. Excuse me. Say what? As now we cut to Izuku, Eri again, as they just finished up rewinding every hero that is still among the world of the living to their best form. But then they remembered All Might. Even Eri. It's just like, I can't believe it. He should be one of the first people we rewounded. And almost already retired by now. But hearing that, yeah, everyone is coming out of retirement at peak form, he's like, huh, I can't believe it. I didn't think of that sooner. They arrive right at his doorstep. Right now, he's just sitting down in a rocking chair. You know, he's like, dude, you are not that old. So I guess you're here to be right me, aren't you? Yes. We're going to need you to join this fight, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? As yes, he slowly feels his lungs being able to expand, contract like he used to. He feels as the scar slowly fades away, he starts to build up muscle mass and everything. Till all that's left is that big ass smile. If him looking triumphantly in the air, yelling, I am here. No. What? You are back. And then, that's pretty much how their crusade to gather an honest-to-God army of heroes shows up. 
And they see Izuku pretty much bringing in so much to light. People are trying to question how society is. Which, yeah, Stain, he's more than happy about this. Though, yes, he's still technically locked up. He is happy at the fact that he's... His ideals are technically being explored. Just not to the point where he's like, yes, just kill all the terrible heroes. But comes to Harley... Yeah, she's still part of the Suicide Squad, with Himiko being part of it. Seeing Harley kind of like a motherly sister-esque figure, kind of like Nani from Lilo and Stitch. I mean, Stitch. <laughs> she's happy. She doesn't even think about her asshole parents, as she shouldn't. If anything, her learning that, yeah, not everyone's an asshole, and Harley learning, wow, we both have asshole parents. Even more, the bond over. The only thing they really fight about is how crazy they want to go, and who gets Izuku when. As far as Midnight and Oraka... Yeah, they do end up getting with Izuku. Only thing is, they know that Harley is number one. If Izuku was a pimp, Harley's the bottom bitch. Plain and simple. When it comes to their kid, yeah, they just end up... Calling them Charlie. Charlie Midoriya. Pretty much because, yes, Charlie could be a boy or a girl. Just so have his... <laughs> They're twins. <laughs> so you can imagine the confusion there. Whenever they go to school in the future. Batman. Seeing how Izuku's... Willingness to tell everyone and pretty much sacrifice the secret, the safety of... Whew. Hmm. You are a lot more than I consider you for... I mean, if anything, I thought you could have been more like me. What's so funny? You have no idea how right you are, do you? I mean, yes, if I had the amount of resources and money you did, yeah. If I had a... a wow. Actually, what? Yeah, I, I would have been just like you if I... If you had nothing left to lose. Or if you have been through the, some of the things I've been through. Yes. You could have been just like me, huh? Yeah, just but that was much money. <laughs> <laughs> As Harley's... Uh, <sighs> what? Your laugh. It scares me. <laughs> Ugh, stop that you know what you're doing <laughs> yes yes I do yeah it's kind of weird when you laugh you know that exactly heck I'm the one that scares the villains and heroes I have so many contingency plans to the point where even my family probably doesn't completely trust me and I would respect them for that. <sighs> but seriously. I can't imagine. Oh, believe me. I wouldn't expect you to. I can honestly say. Things could have been so much more different. 
Yeah. As now, it's up for the final battle against all for one. And this is when was really surprising. It's not all for one that comes out. It's Shigaraki. It's, I have the quirk now. What? I have all for one now. He gave it to me. Why? He had no other choice. So he's not yet. I've had a lot to think about lately. And I was wondering. Would you do me the honors of Shigaraki falling to his knees, kill me? Uh, what? As then you can hear the doctor in distance saying, "What are you doing?" So, Please trust me. You're going to have to kill me. He. There's a reason why he finally decided to give me the quirk. Because he knows that his time is almost up. He's trying to give the perfect body to house one for all. And I... How's it? You already have all the quirks, don't you? If he gets one for all, that is it. Plus, with this, wait, what? Why? Why are you? I think I'm like because he's gonna try to take over me. That's why. I at least want to do one heroic thing before I meet my family again. Are you? As he looks at all my. I'll tell Grandma Shimura you said hi. As then all my tears up. Gran Torino realizing there's no way in hell. As yes, this is pretty much where the doctor is running out the four sugar rocky back. Is Miracle just one shots his ass? Forcing him down. Everyone is hearing this, but he's still like, "Oh hell no! I'm about to, I better take possession of this body quick." As his hair starts to fade in and out between black, gray, white, or was it a light blue or green? Either way, it's pretty much a test of willpower. As they're fighting Shigaraki, well, he's all for one. Trying to make sure, like, there's no one who's going to t take this away from me. I have worked so hard to get this far. But then, out of nowhere, a silhouette of all the other users of one for all that are long dead including nana fight back and by entering all for one shigaraki and it is an internal struggle as everyone is looking at shigaraki and all for one convulsing feeling every single strike that's happening in the mind As Shigaraki is trying to fight back against the influence, helping them, looking at Nana, him crying and saying he's sorry for everything that's happened, 
her just apologizing for not being there. As this fight within the inner workings of the mind takes hours. On the outside, that is. On the inside, it's like a year-long fight. Izuku, for some reason, he feels like, why do I feel weaker all of a sudden? Or even All Might and Airy start to notice, like, yeah, this is a weird feeling. As then they notice, as the each user just finally exits Shigaragi, his hair turns pure black. As they're wounded, but then re-enter Izuku. Triumphantly saying, we won. And now, Tenko, Shimura, opens his eyes with a smile on his face. <laughs> uh, okay, so which way to Tartarus?